Welcome everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today we will be playing the fourth level of a custom campaign created by Hamister, a new emperor. Uh, last episode, we just saw our boy Autocar cruelly, cruelly divorce his wife Margareta, sending her into an accursed tower and bailing out on her for a evidently more pretty princess, right after she helped him secure the kingdom of Austria, so... Man, I wonder if that'll bite him in the ass later on, but uh, I guess we'll just have to dive right in to see. Let's go ahead and get started. The princes and bishops of Germany had finally elected a new emperor. In 1273, Rudolf of Habsburg was crowned emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in the magnificent cathedral of it was a surprising choice that nobody had expected. Rudolf was known to be poor and insignificant, albeit arrogant, oh. but Rudolf promised that he would restore peace and order in the empire. Ottokar was not so pleased. <laughs> when he heard of this surprise, he fell into the rage when he had to hear that of all possible men. This fool Rudolf had been chosen. <laughs> what are these noises? His divorce, his far too great power, and his unmatched pride had been a thorn in the side of smaller princes in the empire. That is why they preferred Rudolf as emperor instead of Otoka. Rudolf asked Otoka to cede all conquests to the emperor and swear allegiance to him. But Otoka was not ready to give up so quickly. Oh boy, here we go. He had to get the imperial crown by force. He gathered his troops in the fortified city of Vienna, where he was waiting for Rudolf's attack. Who would have thought that Rudolf would have turned out to be the enemy here? I guess that's why he appeared in the previous two, two campaigns. I, was, I always thought it was weird. He seemed to be like an Easter egg. And now I understand. Good twist there. Well done. Okay, uh, so this looks like a tower defense mission of some kind. Defend your cathedral for 45 minutes. Your city is under siege and the houses are built closely together. Therefore, fires break out in the city from time to time. If a fire breaks out, your villager can build a cistern next to the fire. Okay, we'll have to figure out how that works. If a fire breaks out, act quickly so that the fire does not spread to other parts of the city and destroy your buildings. Use the construction menu to build a cistern. You can try to attack your enemy's camps, but then Rudolph will attack even more resolutely. Maybe it's wise to concentrate on defending the city. So this is definitely an attempt at designing a defense level. Uh, our population limits 200, and we're in the Imperial Age, which is nice. The area north of the river is rich in resources, but can only be reached after the reinforcements from Bohemia have arrived. Okay. Our scouts report that Autocar has gathered his followers in Vienna and Gray. The city is besieged by his rival Rudolf of Habsburg in red. Vienna's narrow streets are prone to large-scale fires. Austria in blue and Styr Styria in green defected to Rudolf. Well, yeah, no shit. Sorry. Austria controls a small fleet on the Danube River. The Bohemian Davis of Falkenstein in purple leads a relief army, which will later join Olicar from the north. In Vienna's houses, traders in yellow hid supplies. It would be f wise to find and loot these houses. Okay. The soldiers knew that they had to defend the city at all costs, but the danger lurked within the walls as well. Because of the siege, it became more and more likely that a fire would break out and lay Vienna in ruins. Okay. We've got all sorts of different units arrayed out around us. Let's send all of our animals to the center here. Two idle villagers are done. Do we have any wood choppers anywhere? We have no way of crossing the river it seems. Let's send these guys to wood. Let's pick up Bosa. 
Uh, ruined houses somewhere of some sort. Let's garrison our archers inside the castles. Pick up conscription. It's, that's an ally blacksmith, apparently. The soldiers needed all available supplies to defend the city. Still, a few unloyal citizens have kept supplies hidden in their homes from the defenders. Otoka decided to search all suspicious houses in the city for possible supplies. Okay, I don't know what that means. But sure. Let's keep villager production coming out. Do we have a castle anywhere? Not sure. Let's pick up Halberdier. Start training some pikes. Keep producing villagers. Build some farms. Let's check out the cistern. Where do I build the cistern? Uh, I don't seem to see a building for it. Let's pick up crop rotation. Set farms to auto seed. Keep chopping wood here. I guess we should start searching. Oh, so the yellow houses are hidden supplies. Got it. So we just have to find the ones that have yellow health bars. Otoko had underestimated Rudolf. The new emperor had assembled an impressive number of allies in no time and was now beginning his attack. Okay. We actually can, can tell by the mini-map, actually, where the hidden supply caches are. Here's another one. We're now being attacked from all directions. I feel like we will want a force of cavalry. Oh, we got all sorts of... Holy crap, we have all sorts of things that we can research here. Let's pick up hoardings for our castle. Keep producing villagers. Let's build another TC down here. Do we have our own blacksmith? Yes, we do. A terrible fire has broken out in the city. The city's defenders had to quickly build a system to contain the fire. Okay. Let's build a cistern. Oh my god, this is chaotic. Train ladies. The fire is destroying the city, and man, these sound effects are loud. We're being attacked from the southwest. Okay, the fire got extinguished. We got two of the supplies. Let's continue producing villagers here. And 
continue getting this squad force of ladies out. Let's pick up chemistry. Do you have enough stone for another castle? Let's have you guys build another castle next to the cathedral here. Okay, so we basically need to be prepped for any, any scenario here. Those systems will really KO the rest of the city. However, I'm not gonna lie when I say that it could actually be a good thing. Let's do Autocar's Warfare. Keep producing Bannermen. We're low on gold. Let's mine some more. Six. Let's grab another cache of supplies. It's one of these buildings up here. Oh my god, those bad boys are well hidden. Okay, cathedral's on fire, we need to repair it. We gotta build the cistern. Oh, the fire is so stressful. Let's keep training halberdiers as our defense here. And latest as well. For gold. Yes, yes, I know it's destroying the city. We gotta, we gotta build the aqueduct. Man, that, these sound effects are so loud. Okay, so the fire has got, got extinguished. Let's build more villagers, train more halves. Train more latus. Let's build another castle on this side here. The defenders were relieved when they heard news that reinforcements from Bohemia were underway. The mighty Zadis of Falkenstein were to lead many Bohemian knights to Vienna. Yes, we are in good shape. We're not under too much pressure, it seems. Luckily. Think about getting a trev out so that we can counter the siege weapons. We haven't found all the supply caches either. Oh, look at that pikeman moonwalking. <laughs> rebuild that segment of wall. Keep training some halves, keep building some farms. Seems like the east side is in the most danger. So I'll send the halves that we have right now over there. We're already a decent amount through. Keep producing villagers. I also want to pick up uh, crenellations and Regina once I can. Let's get more villagers out. This is where our latest come in handy. We're gonna want these guys to take out the castle. Put you guys on farms. Yeah. 
train more halves. Build more farms. Go for the cow. We could try to destroy some more supply caches. I guess this fortified wall counts. Sure. Let's save for Dragina actually. There's another trip over there. The important thing here is to react to the trebuchets, I think. Uh, tower shields would be useful, but I think Dragina would be more useful. Okay, let's have this treb stacked down on that fortified wall. Let's build another farm. Have you go for those pigs? Any idols? Yes, we do. Have these vills. Go for the pigs. Oh my god! Oh, there's health bars everywhere. The bell! Oh, oh, the sound effects! This is horrible! And we're under attack. Let's build some more elite ladies. Trade some more halberdiers. We're still getting this cistern built. At this point, all I can do is pray that we don't lose even more. Yes, yes, the fire is destroying the city. Build some fast fires. Let's build another dock here. Still no treb anywhere. I take that back. There's a treb over here. Let's train some more latest. Some more halves. Let's build a couple more barracks. And it seems we've hit the pop cap. Let's send these guys to wood. There's Rudolph. There's a relic. Let's have you rebuild this gate here. Lots of idle villagers here, but it is what it is. We got fast fire ships out, which are gonna have to be enough for our purposes for the time being. We got three out of the eight supply caches. This mill is a supply cache. Let's finish it off while we have a chance. Let's produce some more latest. And Let's not hang out too too far outside of our base here. Four hundred food, four hundred wood. The Teutonic Knights swore their allegiance to Rudolf of Habsburg. Their services were no longer available to him. Well, that sucks. Maybe I should have trained some of those. But truthfully, I was more interested in producing halberdiers anyhow. Do we need Husser here? I actually don't think we need Husser. I don't think cavalry are going to be particularly useful for us. Out of gold. So it seems. We need to farm out here. 
We need to keep the Halberdier production coming out. Let's keep... Let's pick up Dragina. secretly allied himself with his enemies and betrayed him. He would lead his knights against the walls of Vienna. To make things worse, Ottokar also heard rumors that Zavis seduced his own wife, Unigunda. A terrible fire had broken out in the city. The city's defenders had to quickly build a system to contain the fire. Okay, sister and sister and sister. Oh my god, the bell noise. Send out the treb. Apparently my wife got seduced or something. Shit is is not is not in, is we're not doing good right now. I'm getting a little bit flustered even. Let's train some Genoese crossbows. Okay, fire is out. Let's go back to farming. That's a lot of purple. Oh, so the northern side are enemies now. Uh, that, that blows. No, I don't need cannon alien. I need ships. Okay, okay. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling the spice. I'm feeling the spice. Let's take out these trebs. Unlock the gate. We still have one last supply depot here in this house. Let's destroy the house. And then... There's the other, the last other supply depot. Let's kill that. Our priorities have got to be... The trebuchets here. They're the only ones that really stand a chance like, to destroy us. Do I have a monster of my own? Don't know. Oh, Zavis was defeated? Okay, seems good. Let's build a TC up here. We keep scouting around in the northern part of the base. Still bleeding units, but that's fine. I think we've actually somewhat stabilized here. Yeah, there's no more to see, be seen from Zavis, and we're actually in perfectly good shape here. Let's just send some more miners out to gold. Pick up Cavalier. Destroy this treb. How do those guys just walk in? We're about to have another fire on our hands. Send you guys back to work. Let's pick up Champion as well. A terrible fire had broken out in the city. The city's defenders had to quickly build a system to contain the fire. Cistern, cistern, cistern. Those cost 200 stone. I gotta, I gotta remember that they cost 200 stone. We need stone miners here. We're losing villagers very quickly, unfortunately. Just keep unit production coming out. Any more supplies? Find the supplies. Oh, the page is a bit... is a bit messed up, I think. Because we need to... We need to fix the fire first. Yeah. 
Okay, fire's extinguished. Very good, very nice. And now we actually have plenty of gold. Let's start producing cavaliers. More latus. More Genoese crossbows. And we're seven out of eight done here. There's another, that's where the house is. We lost all of our villagers finding this gold. We got a decent amount. And it looks to me like the north is safe. And we have eight more minutes to defeat, uh, defend our cathedral here. Let's pick up champion and queue up some of those. The citizens of Vienna donated their last supplies to Ottoka to defend their city. Very good. And we completed the secondary objective at all as well. We got tons and tons of resources now. We really got no 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 shortage here. And man, Slavic Calvardier are just brutal when you have them in mass like this. This is Rudolph! Oh, every time he dies, he just runs away. I see. I guess that makes sense. More latest. More latest. More villagers. And in fact, our villagers are probably safe out here in the north. Let's scout around the northern area a little bit, just a little bit more. Send our woodcutters up here too, actually. Oh, and we got more reinforcements. Very nice. I think some elite bowyers. Very cool. Could definitely use those. What's funny is that Slavs normally can produce those, but now we can't. We gotta prepare for the next fire. I only need to defend for five more minutes. And the situation is not so bad. We've still got most of our units here. Seems like the top west. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, we do what we need to do. We're gonna build here. Train more latest. Train more cavalier. Train more champs, more halves. Whatever needs to be done. A terrible fire had broken out in the city. The city's defenders had to. Yep, let's build the aqueduct. We have the stone. We are okay. Oh, this bell is so loud. But I, it's good. I actually think it's good that it's loud because otherwise I might forget that there's a fire. So that the fact that there is no... That there is a loudness is actually really good. Latest on the Teutonic Knight should be very good as well as on the enemy heavy cavalry. Is there another fire? Oh no. Oh no, the fire is extinguished. Very nice. We have two more minutes to go. Our northwestern quadrant is a little bit in need of help. Let's have these guys keep training latest. More champs, more everything. 
sent to the north side. Very good. Build some more barracks here so we can get more Georgina units out. I've only got maybe a whole one more minute left. So we should be in pretty good shape here. Let's not wander too close to the enemy camp. So long as we take the trebs out, we are in good shape. More Latus, more Halves. His false friends may have betrayed him, but Ortilka was not yet defeated. Very good. Whew! That was fun. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the map, shall we? Okay, so Austria has a small camp in the west. This is a small camp from Rudolf. Freddy. I guess we could have converted these villagers if we discovered them. We could have converted these knights if we discovered them as well. I didn't know there was more water past this area. Ooh, there's actually a lot more content here that I, I didn't discover. There's a relic here even. Yeah, this is where Rudolph just keeps coming back to every time uh, the unit gets close to dying. I think uh, if the navy there was a bit more aggressive, it would have been helpful. But man, like, look, look at how beautiful the landscape is. Once again, even though this side is just all forest, I mean, that's just how the world was. There are parts of the world that were just all forest. I really like the design of the city. It's like super cluttered. You can tell that shit's hitting the fan. Uh, I really, I, I liked the fire mechanic. Um, I also like the hidden cash mechanic. It gave stuff to do within the city. So it wasn't just kind of me waiting for enemies to come at me. The enemies are coming at me and I'm still trying to accomplish other objectives within the city. Uh, the backstab by Zavis. Also, I didn't really see that coming. I thought it was gonna be more devastating. I thought Zavis had a base in the north. Uh, so I thought that I was going to get a lot more northern pressure. Um, but in the end, after repelling his initial attack, there wasn't really much pressure from the north at all. So my economy really was in no danger. Uh, I could have lost all my all the villagers in my city, and I still would have been able to pump out villagers up north here nice and safely. But overall, I, I like this mission a lot. Uh, there's It's a standard defense mission. There's no need to rush out and engage the enemy. Uh, I do think it's 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 a bit on the easier side. Um, the backstab could be, like I said, the navy could be more aggressive. The backstab could be more devastating. I think the fire mechanic is, is good as it is. Uh, there's no need to alter that. Um, but just like have the waves be more dangerous in general. Uh, but Overall, like it was super fun. There's especially the first like 10, 15 minutes. There's just so much for me to do, and I I couldn't even commentate properly because I had to I had to focus so much on the objectives. Uh, I thought they were pretty cool. Getting more resources by like looting the traders' homes and stuff. That was pretty cool. Wow. Hidden supplies got some hunting wolves over here. Oh, Rudolph's got some hunting wolves out in the forest. <laughs> That's a cute little Easter egg. Also, I didn't really see much from Green. And now I'm just I'm just curious as to like what would have actually happened if I destroyed if I destroyed the uh, the two things, you know? 
so what I might do is I might uh Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. And Rudolph agreed on an armistice. I'm gonna redo this level with Cobra cars after this. And could not fight two battles at the same time. As a condition of the armistice, Rudolf demanded that Otto can kneel before him and recognize him as emperor. Otto agreed with gritted teeth. Otto stepped before Rudolf in his most gorgeous robe, but the emperor only wore poor peasant clothes to further humiliate him. When Otto found out that his wife Hunagunda had an affair with the revolt leader Zavis of Falkenstein, he confronted her with the rumors. She just laughed and said that she only accepted Ottoka as a man if he stopped kneeling in front of his enemies and instead fought for what was due to him. I mean, Zavis didn't do anything useful either, so... Yeah, not not sure not sure what to think of that. But let's uh, before before we sign off here, let's uh, let's start cheating. What's the? How do I turn this on? How do I turn this on? What's the? What's the cheat? Let me, let me. I mean, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition Cheats. What's the one that gives you the Cobra car? No, no. How do you turn this on? I need... Oh, I need to capitalize the, the H. Is that it? have to defend the city. How do you turn this on? <laughs> How do you turn this on? Let's unleash some pain. And let's see what happens if I destroy Rudolph's stuff. They said that his soldiers would fight even more resolutely. Oh, I see. Okay, so I guess they spawn a bunch of a bunch of greenies. So let's see what happens if we just completely flatten one of their bases here. The soldiers needed all available supplies to defend the city. Still, a few unloyal citizens have kept supplies hidden in their homes from the defenders. Otoka decided to search all suspicious houses in the city for possible supplies. the fire okay 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 here's your cistern but let's see what happens I don't think anything happens I think they just summon like I think that wave of green units was the was the deterrence 
So I guess I really could have gone on the offensive against these guys after all. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything stopping me from actually... from actually going ahead and destroying them. But in any case, it was a fun level. Uh, I, I normally am not a huge fan of defend the town levels, but I did get a kick out of that one. Um, I feel like if we could difficulty spike that one up a little bit, uh, it would be it would make it even more fun. But as it is, it was still quite enjoyable. Anyway, this has been the Clever Fool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.